Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm sharing how I made 22 quick and easy Valentine's Day cards using this paper pad here from Echo Park. This is from their Cupid & Co paper collection. I'm also using the frames and tags. Now these items came in the Simon Says Stamp for My Sweet Valentine limited edition card kit, which is no longer available, but you can still purchase the items individually. So I have laid out all of my frames and tags and I've picked out some matching colored cardstock from my stash and I'm just going through and I'm placing these items onto the matching colored cardstock so that I can make some layers. I wanted to share a video on kind of how I go about mass producing cards. So this video is sped up, but I wanted to show that it really doesn't take that long to make a bunch of cards and so this is just kind of like the first step usually I um, take ephemera or whatever comes in a card kit or anything that matches the paper pad and I'll go through and I'll give it some dimension so here I'm using some paper punches from Stampin Up and I'm just cutting out to make some frames for these little pieces and I also use a two inch square paper punch so the next step is to take all of the different matching colored cardstocks that I picked out and cut them down to make them as frames that will go directly on the card base. So I'm trimming these down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I do this with all of the different colors that I picked out. So I have some black, I have some red, some hot pink, and then the red foil. Now I'm taking each of the pieces of paper and I'm matching them up with what color frame I want them to have. Now the kit came with a half of a paper pad and it also includes these cut apart. So I'm just cutting these apart because I will be using a lot of these as the focal point for my cards. Now for the cards that I'm making, I don't do any stamping. This is all strictly stuff that comes from the paper pad. So to give this some interest, I'm using some dies. I'm pulling in some metal dies. This one here is from Simon Says Stamp. This is their A2 Thin Frames die set. And then I'm also going to be using this MFT stamp scalloped rectangle die and then also those um, scalloped stitch edger dies. So I've ran these through my Big Shot and I have several different layers and I'll be able to make the most use of my cardstock. Since I centered that metal die directly in the middle of my red foil cardstock, I can use the outer piece, I can use the small thin frame, as well as the small rectangle that was cut out of the center. And I did this with some black and some red. And the red foil pieces, I'm going to use the heart arrow die that came in the card kit, and I've cut out a bunch of those, and I can use these on my cards as well. Now I'm going to show you what I did with each of the different pattern papers in this paper pad. I used the stitched scalloped basic edge dynamics from MFT stamps for these first four cards. And then I also had some heart shaped dies that I used to cut out a few hearts. For this sheet that has the little lips on it, I used the MFT Stamps Stitch Scallop Rectangle Die and I cut out some more hearts. And then I also had some banner dies, so I made a bunch of different sizes of banners from some of these papers. Now I used one of the smaller Stitch Scallop Rectangle Dies for this sheet here and I was able to get two out of that one. And then I had a longer banner die that was also stitched. For the two plaid sheets of paper, I used the Simon Says Stamp A2 Thin Frames dies, and so I'll be using the centerpiece as well as this thin frame, and then I also cut out some more banner dies. For 
For these last two sheets of paper, I decided to use the thin frame dies again, except I didn't cut out banner dies. I am keeping those two inch strips so that I can use to make additional cards. So now that I have all of this done, I'm going to start assembling. So I have all of my frames that have been matted with additional color cardstock. And so I'm just matching up what I think looks good with the pattern paper and the frame that I have picked out. So I glued everything down off camera and now it's time to add the finishing touches. For my two truck cards I'm adding some plaid bows and I'm attaching it with some glue dots. And for the rest of these cards I'm just looking at the different embellishments that I have. I have some heart shaped rhinestones in some different colors as well as some heart shaped pearls and some red pearls. And the ones that I couldn't decide which ones I wanted to use, I set aside and came back to them later. For the cards that had tags, I didn't glue the tags down yet because I wanted to add some twine or some ribbon. So I'm just adding some bows and then I'm going to use some foam strips to adhere them to the card. Now this is probably my favorite tag. I really like the saying on this one. And this is actually some Christmas ribbon that I um, didn't ever use up. So whenever you find Christmas stuff on clearance, just remember you can use this, some of it for Valentine's Day. So I just I decided to tie some metallic ribbon around that to make the bow and then I've trimmed these off. And again, I'm gluing this down with some foam strips. And here are all of the finished cards. I used those thin frames and kind of swapped those out so it looks like these two truck cards have lots of layers. And on this one, I've also got the red foil as a frame and then I also have that little thin frame around it. Here I used the scalloped dies and I used up some of the clear bling that I had. And here I'm using some scraps. So I just took that two inch piece, gave it a frame, and then I added one of the cut aparts to the front. And I did the same thing for this one. This is one of the tags and I use a foil die cut. And then again, I've used some of that red foil and that thin frame to go around that. And I've used up some of those scraps. 
and here are some more scraps that I used up. Now this card right here is the one I used all of the different pattern paper banners that I had cut out along with some ward dies from Sizzix. I'll list all of the supplies that I used to make all of these cards in the description box below in case you're interested. All of these are the ones that I used those stitched scallop basic edge dynamics from MFT stamps. Now this is one where I cut out a, a scalloped rectangle die but I used the frame instead. And then this one I think is really pretty too. It's just simple. You got the cut apart with a little bit larger red foil frame and here's the ones with the tags. I think this one is my favorite. I just like the saying. How sweet it is to be loved by you and of course I want to sing the song whenever I read it every time here's another one that I did with some banners I also use some banners on this card and then this is one where I actually took the the basic edge dynamics and cut the card base at the bottom and then here's another simple one where I just put the cutter part on a red foil frame and here are all 22 of the cards that I made. And I only used half of the paper pad that came in my Simon Says stamp kit. So if you have the full paper pad, you could actually make 44 cards. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Don't forget you can also find additional card inspiration on my website at cardsbykindred.com as well as my Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram pages. I appreciate you watching today. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful, crafty day.